All right, we're tracking a winter storm here across the region over the next couple to few days. It looks like we'll have a couple of shots of snow, one in the Midwest and then also through the Ohio Valley as that rain changes to snow. We're going to have a very quick freeze, so icy conditions where this precipitation develops and then much colder into this upcoming weekend. All right, for now, we have winter weather headlines from Kansas all the way to the international border. A few areas dealing with some winter storm warnings. Again, that's where the uh, snowfall rates or at least amounts could be a little bit higher. Uh, the big story really is going to be the wind and blowing snow on the back side of this uh, cold front as it uh, sweeps through. Again, not looking at a terrible amount of snow, maybe a couple to a few inches at most, maybe some six to eight inch amounts north of Wisconsin, the UP Michigan there. Uh, but again, another surge of snowfall is going to be developing as we head into the end of the week and early weekend across the Ohio Valley, and that will have some significant impacts on travel conditions on Friday there. So out ahead of this cold front, we're quite warmer to actually dealing with a little bit of rain, but where those uh, colder temperatures are starting to slide in, we may have a little bit of icing and a flash freeze with some snowfall. Again, Minnesota, Iowa, up into Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan uh, tonight into our early Thursday, and then Thursday night into Friday across the Ohio Valley, eastern Great Lakes region. So out ahead of this storm system, temperatures are quite warm today. We're about 20 degrees above average, uh, but that colder air is starting to move, and it will be with us through the weekend.